Hey guys, it's Renee. So for this Christmas tree earrings, I'm going to be using some rivets. The ones that I'm working with look like this. They look pretty much like regular rivets, but they used to be part of like a bag that I wasn't using anymore. I just removed the rivets. They have like plastic underneath them. They are flat underneath them because usually rivets look like this. They have like four pointy parts that you fold into like fabric, shoes, bags, whatever you're adding them to. I wanted to mention that because they are different in that sense. But if you're using traditional rivets, just fold those like four parts until they are like flat and it's gonna be like pretty much the same. So I'm gonna be arranging everything before I glue it, adding one rivet on top, then two, then three, and then one at the bottom. To make this bigger, like a bigger earring, just add one more like line at the bottom of four but I'm going to be gluing them using my super glue and this glue holder I do have a DIY showing you where I got this from I'm going to be working on a piece of paper or wax paper just so that my glue doesn't stick to my table and pretty much adding the glue to the sides of my rivets placing them on top of my table and gluing them together and if you did this like this and you're gonna have glue on your wax paper just move your rivets around so they don't stick to the parchment paper so yeah pretty much gluing all of these pieces together adding them in parts and then adding the whole thing with my glue again letting it dry i'm going to be using an eye pin i do have a diy showing you how you can make them yourself and i'm going to be working on the back of this gluing my eye pin on top again if you're using like traditional rivets fold those parts and glue your eye pin on those parts i'm going to be painting my trees first in white just because i want my next colors to really pop then i'm going to be using my green acrylic paint and my brown one i actually made this brown I do have the DIY showing you how I made this. Pretty much covering first the tree part in green and then the brown part. Here I'm just using some pliers because I was pretty impatient to just wait for my green to dry using my pliers as a holder. But if you wait for your green to dry, you don't have to use any pliers. Then of course I'm adding some Christmas lights. I'm using red, yellow, purple, pink, orange, and blue acrylic paints and my dotting tool that I'm going to be using to paint in those like spheres. First I'm going with the white following the same logic that I did on the tree just to make the colors that I'm adding on top just pop more. I'm going to wait for my white to dry and then I'm adding those colors to the peaks. I want these two earrings to be like dynamic and so I'm adding my colors or my Christmas lights in different places and I'm going to leave one white for the white lights. As a final step I'm going to be adding the star sort of. I'm going to be using this pure eyes called showstopper. Now I've had this nail polish for a while at least for five years. I'm not really sure if they still have this brand or this color i'm pretty sure it does still exist but any yellow will do and i'm going to be painting the loop of my eye pin then i went back with my green just because i wanted to correct a few things with that pink my dots on the pink ones were just huge compared to the other ones i think my acrylic paint was way too runny for this it's adding some paint around it just to make this smaller then as a final step i'm going to be adding some gloss this is going to protect the design it's going to make all the colors pop a lot more and it's going to be nice and shiny and i think it looks better with this feel free to use like a clear nail polish and i added two coats of this one letting it dry in between then i'm going to be using some gold ear wires and my pliers i'm going to open them placing my eye pins to there and then closing this but yeah i really like them obviously they are pretty festive and just so much fun to wear make and just to look at if you want to make them bigger go ahead and do that it's pretty much personal preference but i think this is a good size where it's like uh, still big enough to make a statement and just to be visible to be a fun accessory but it's just not too too big that it's just in your face too much of a statement and too much of an earring do you know what i mean the reason that i used yellow nail polish as opposed to acrylic paint is because the friction of like the ear wires and the eye pins need something stronger than acrylic paint acrylic paint will just come off i'm going to be wearing these beauties for sure on christmas and i just want to share with you just in case you like them they are so much fun and happy i really like them hopefully you like them too if you did don't forget to give this a thumbs up let me know down below check out more earrings that i have on my channel and subscribe for more thank you so much for watching i'll talk to you later and take care bye